Hey everyone, this is Doug with B&H. High End Cinematography has seen some extraordinary changes in the last few years, and leading up to NAB, we've got word of some exciting news from Canon. This is the new EOS C700 FF. Looks familiar, right? Built around the same body as the original C700, this new FF model switches out the Super 35 sensor for, you guessed it, a full frame sensor. The C700 FF has all the same recording capabilities of the original. For most people, the built-in ProRes 422 HQ recording will be plenty. It takes a 5.9K full frame image and oversamples to a 4K image. But if you're into seriously high-end production, like the original, you can use the Canon Codex recorder to get 5.9K raw output up to 60 FPS. On top of that, Super 35 has been the standard for a long time, and so it's kind of fascinating how the full-frame look is finally making its way beyond the DSLR world and into the pro cinematography space. Speaking of pro, there will be an EF and PL version available, and if you're an owner of the original, Canon will offer a sensor swap service as well. In a 4K crop, the camera can shoot up to 72 FPS, and with a 2K crop, it can hit 168 FPS. At 2K downscales, you can record straight to ProRes 4444 for acquiring pristine images at more manageable resolutions. But that's not all. There is also a new Cinema Prime lens coming out. It's right here, the 20mm T1.5, fitting right between Canon's 14mm and 24mm Cinema Primes. For comparison, let's take a quick look on a Super 35 body, the field of view for a 14mm, a 24mm, and the new 20mm. It has an 11 blade iris, and as if it needed to be said, like the rest of the EOS Cinema Primes, this lens covers a full frame sensor. Now, some may already know this, but it's color matched to that particular warm look found only in the Cinema EOS Primes. For the metadata obsessed, it also delivers T-stop and focal length information through the mount. So there it is, the Canon C700 FF and the 20mm T1.5 Cinema Prime lens. This is Doug from B&H, I'll see you next time.